I'm vibing. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Monster Prom. Oh, did my did is Discord just not? Okay, no Discord. It, hmm. Elena went. <laughs> <laughs> is Elena coming back? Hello, Raven. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hello, welcome. I actually am gonna have my Twitch stream up real quick on here. Okay. All right. Hello, welcome. Um, so today, if y'all read the title, we're gonna be trying to get the last two secret monster prom endings that we need. So, which means next week, we'll get the special ending. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ew. Get out of <laughs> Just my- Just laser focused. <laughs> get out of my walls, damn it, no. Hey, Gemma, what's up? You're all good, nothing. You, you didn't miss anything yet. We haven't started yet. And hello, Super, what's up? Um. I was wondering where you were uh, this weekend, but I'm assuming you were doing some stuff with fam, so it's all good. All right, question. Who do we go with today? I meant for the Pokemon streams. We got a couple shinies. And not not very many. It it We got two shiny larva, larvestas. We got a jump pluff, and we got a skidoo. I give shinies. Yes! Uh, super. I'm sorry. I think you went to bed. I think you fell asleep. Um, I am good after stream to do the trade. If Raven, if you'd be oh so kind as to drop the Discord again, that would be very nice of you so that Super can go in there so then we can top. Hello! Hello, rat. Hello. Okay. Um, I did indeed go to, <laughs> go to sleep. That's okay. Chat, who do we choose? Guys, who do we choose? Um, the, oh, I forgot her name. The, the one with the black hair. Vicky? Yeah, Vicky. We want Vicky? Sam, yeah. we want Vicky? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone loves Vicky. She's great. Okay. I keep wanting to call her Frankie, you know, like from Monster. It literally, <laughs> it, it literally is her, almost. <laughs> I get it. I completely understand. Okay, I'm gonna quickly. I have to pull up. Um. Oh, is it not gonna show? Uh oh. Raven, are you Raven? Are you gonna be our insider? Are you gonna Are you gonna have the Are you gonna have the thing up? If not, I can. It's not a big deal. I just didn't know if you were going to because uh, I can't seem to find the. Watch all three seasons of Demon Slayer today. Nice, nice. I can certainly try. That's okay. If anything, I'll just go quickly. Look up my thing before we do it. I got the stream. I got the Steam page up. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Womp. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to get Vera's and Miranda's today. Huzzah! Good. Because we got Scott last time. First time I enjoyed an eight episode fight scene. Yay! I'm sorry, an eight episode what? fight scene? Yeah, have you never seen Demon Slayer? No. <laughs> the just go on for so long. It's the whole anime, basically. But oh! Good. <laughs> okay, that that's good. I, I can't watch... I, I can't watch it mainly because of the gore. Mm. It, it makes me... <laughs> All right, so now we want, do we want to do Miranda first to get out? Or I think we should probably do Vera to get the hard one out of the way. Okay. Okay. You get the chance to produce a movie. It's based on two cool guys walking away from a rad explosions and they don't look at the explosions. They don't give a fuck about the explosions. They reflect on life and love, but it is super dope and kick ass because they do so walking away from never ending explosions. <laughs> So that's so that's Damien. <laughs> Something about superheroes, but with a love triangle between a beautiful yet somewhat relatable girl. Maybe she's always stating she's a mess. And two of the super hot superheroes who are like vampires or pirates are both instant hits. Bloody Queen is her secret ending. I'm excited. Okay, so we just need the tampon is what I'm hearing. The bloody <laughs> tampon. <laughs> <laughs> The most influential Russian novelist of the X 
Oh, I don't know that in um. Mm, mm, I don't know that mm, Roman numeral. No, oh, the former prom queen tampon. Oh my God. Um. Boom. Sure. Damn it! No, I needed the wealthy. Is the last one a hangover reference? Good question. 19. It's 19, bestie. Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Oops. What is your soul emoji? The emoji that speaks the truth of your soul. Caucasian guy with a turban because fuck stereotypes. <laughs> Snowman, because that motherfucker is in the middle of a blizzard and he's fucking smiling. He does not give a fuck about blizzards. He has a kick-ass hat. Twelve smarts, nine charm, eight monies for snake mommy. We can do that. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Octopus emoji, best animal on earth. I know five mixed drinks, three drug cocktails, and six, 17 sex positions that involve one or several octopi. No. I like the snowman. So bold. What criteria would you use to name your children? Just a swear word. Meh, no names. It's just too much work. Something simple and friendly, like Bobby or Mary. I would research a name that is pun-proof and joke-proof. No one will pick on them. My name plus second, the second. A non-heteronormative name to give them freedom to define themselves on their own terms. I feel like this one is her. Yeah. I'll cry. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Um. Oh, she's taking. Hello, no. Oh, let's go. Ah. Okay, so where do we start? <sighs> okay, we have six smarts. It was six smarts plus. What was it, Raven? Hold on, I can just go back and look. 12 smarts, 9 charm, 8 monies for snake mommy. Got it. Okay. Guys, where do we go first? I think we should go to class since we need 12 smarts. You're right! <laughs> we, 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 we need this. We need the big, we need the brain cells. <laughs> Scott and Miranda seem to be arguing about something. Your sweet meditation skills are clearly me mediation, not meditation. Fuck. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Your sweet medi mediation skills are clearly needed. Mm -hmm. No, I know our football team is called the Spooky High Spooky Monsters Who Spook, but who also plays sports. But who's our mascot? Our mascot? The dyslexia is strong with this one. Nah, I just can't fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, you're right. We don't have one. <gasps> oh, what about Misha the Mermaid? Mermaids are monsters. Eight hearts for her, roughly, but you get three hearts per lunch interaction. Oh, sick! Aloha, hello, scenic! No way. Too girly. Try this. Wally the werewolf. <gasps> Why is it gotta be a werewolf? We're the monsters, not the werewolves. Um, bitch, you just went for a mermaid! <laughs> make it make sense. Hmm. Yeah, well, we're not the mer- Thank you, Scott! <laughs> Hmm. Maybe the problem is that the team name is trying to cover a huge, diverse group of people with single with a single label. Can't stand the wolf guy. Stay no, we love Scott. Scott is a himbo. He's a friend. No, coach is never wrong. We're just not thinking hard enough. Think, think, think. He's about to brain blast. <laughs> He's about to become. It is our. Is it our favorite golden retriever energy? Yes. He is, he is, in fact, about to become Jimmy Neutron. He's brain blasting. Hey, bro. Hey, you. You look like a hard thinker. <laughs> what mascot should we use for our team? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Because, oh, wait. This would probably be good because money. Right? Eh. Uh, um, uh... I don't get it. <laughs> like the one episode of SpongeBob where Patrick is actually smart. <laughs> <laughs> Which must mean that it's really smart. Hooray! Corporate greed. That's the real monster. Yeah. Hooray. 
Scott. Honestly, me too. Yeah. He can even make it rain dollar bills on the audience. They'll love him. I love him. Fuck rich people. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I love you! <laughs> Scott knows the agenda. Fuck rich people, yay! <laughs> hey! Look at you, full of inventive and clever ideas. We should give you a ribbon or something. Meanwhile, you gain plus two smarts and plus one creativity. Eat the rich, Scott is my hero. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. He's such a friend. He's so friendship. Okay. Oh no! I have to s <sighs> That's a nice sandwich, all I'm saying. That's just a nice sandwich to be in. <laughs> Find Vera sitting in front of a pile of money instead of food, as usual. Damien comes over and drops his own money pile on the table, and also some organs. Oh. Me too. <laughs> no! Mm. Yes. No! <laughs> yes. No! Oh, hmm, not it's bad. Hmm. Not bad, but I prefer to exert a little less effort for my income. A dejected swamp creature slumps over to the table and adds some money to Vera's pile. Income? You mean this stuff? This is just what people throw at me to get me to stop punching them. <laughs> they threw organs at you? He probably took those. Oh, you're right, my bad, my bad. I had too much faith, never mind. And this is what people throw at me to keep me from revealing what kind of porn they're into. Oh. Vera scares me. She's Knowing- just, She's the baddest bitch ever. She is, and I love that for her. <laughs> Thanks to you, we now have illegal key logging software on every computer in this building. <laughs> yeah. She just sca I want to be her at- Oh my god, right <laughs> I want to be her and inside her. <laughs> no. For any newcomers that subbed over the weekend, this is Monday streams. <laughs> Chat just gets horny. Yeah. That's okay. I, I look at her. If that is uncomfortable, if, if that is uncomfortable, it, it, you are free to leave. But I agree, the money is only secondary. The frowns on their faces are their own reward. Still, I'm always looking to improve efficiency. <laughs> Have you tried developing business contacts in hell? Your victims will be even more terrified if they know death won't save them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, horny, allow me to introduce myself. If you have an issue, let me know. I, I know I go too far sometimes. Nah, you're fine, Raven. Yeah, but that doesn't work on the undead. For those, you need a priest. A priest? You know how my family feels about priests. Ugh, I'm sick of terrorizing people one at a time. There's gotta be a way to terrorize everybody in the cafeteria at once. Dude, I hold myself back sometimes. It- I want- I mean, I would be okay- Yeah, Mondays are basically our Mardi Gras, but weekly- But weekly and on Mondays, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Vera could use me as a step stool and that's fine. Just saying. <laughs> And make money at the same time. I'm sure there is. That is, after all, the essence of capitalism. Set the bill- Nope. Trick everyone in the cafeteria into having an orgy- <gasps> Oh, wait, wait! This is it! This is it! This is it! Wait, wait, wait! Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! It, it is too. Hmm. Let's go! Simple, elegant, raunchy. I like your style. Speak- Yes, rat, just as long as you- just not what we do here. Just- that is not what we do, so I'm just letting you know. Hey, I'm finally at 80k channel points. Let's go, scenic. Damn. We're rising. But how are you going to trick a whole room full of people into having an orgy? I mean, shit, when you got my riz. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I just, hey, I can, uh, what is the one dude from Demon Slayer, the, how do you say that, the I name one? Grace. Hey, dude, I have 
such a terrible fucking memory when it comes to names. Oh, Tanjiro. Oh, no, no, no. It, it's um, it's 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 uh, it's a. Uh... You're talking about the guy with the three wives. I oh that one yeah I it, demon Sl I was just reading rats chat and from so is so hot I'm not sure who that is sorry <laughs> don't tell me you don't know how to do that oh <gasps> Vera just ratioed the shit out of Davy <laughs> she's like what you don't know how to trick a, a room full of people into having an orgy. So you're like, what? You don't know how to do that? It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that would wound me. Yes, I know. I know who we're talking about now, Rat. She burned the demon shit. Yeah. Is this, is this something you do all the time? Is this something you don't do all the time? I thought you were a prince of hell. Oh, uh. oh. Ooh. ooh. She went for the throat. Jesus Christ. I... Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah! Yes, but I'm a prince of the burny part of hell. Not the sexy part of hell. That explains it. Oh! <laughs> well, to answer your question, this is a room full of high schoolers. A slight breeze could instigate an orgy. See, they say high schoolers, but then they're all in their 20s. Confusion! <laughs> you, you seem awfully smart, but by your age range, like being in high school, I have to assume that you go get held back a lot. <laughs> yeah. I just. I just. Man. <laughs> Everyone in the school is illiterate, no matter how smart they say they are. <laughs> oh my god. Although the succubus sauce I snuck into the Sloppy Joes won't hurt either, though the succubus sauce? What? Vera, where did you get that? I feel like we don't want to know. <laughs> I f I'm not going to finish what I was going to say. It certainly doesn't. You, Vera, and Damien retreat to a safe distance to film the sexy carnage and avoid the fluids. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just assume eBay. Craigslist. No! <laughs> okay. I... Let's go. Okay. Hola. Hello, Fry. We're playing Monster Prom. We're about to get the smarts we need. 10 plus coolness. Oh, no. It's gamer bathwater all over again. <laughs> no! Afterwards, you notice Scott huddled next to Vera. These two will hardly ever hang out. You wonder what's up. Scott seems to be showing Vera some kind of sports sense. Uh, I can't see. It. Sports diagram? How are you today? I'm doing pretty good, Fry. How are you? I saw the video and then I subbed. It's so good. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, I'll start selling gamer sweat. Scenic, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I'll support you as your friend, so I'll buy one, but no. No. Oh, bro. <laughs> but we just keep losing football games. Over and over. Coach says we're just not sporting hard enough, but I'm sporting as hard as I can. I'm tired. My boss stressed me out, and then I spent the rest, uh, the rest writing scripts and recording videos. Oh, jeez, dude. I mean, hell, if you just want to hang out here and have this as background, and if you just want to lurk, don't feel- you do not have to talk and chat if you do not feel like you can. You are all good to go. I hope today goes a little bit better. I figured, since you're super smart and everything, maybe you could hmm, fix your entire team in ten minutes. You're one and only Vera well, Oberlin. Yes. I'll support, but if it gets anywhere near me, I will throw it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, obviously I can do that. I'm incredible. You are queen. Oh my god, you are. <laughs> Listen, what you need is an oblique strategy. A new technique that your opponents won't expect. <laughs> like poison darts. Or a vicious campaign of psychological warfare. Or, or, now's your chance to impress them. Jump in with the idea that will show them how much you know about winning sports. What you guys need is blackmail material. One well-placed camera in the, up in the opposing team's locker room is all it takes. A player who's really a truck. No one will be able to stop them. 
<laughs> Autobots roll out! <laughs> Just call him off of his pride! <laughs> Just was at a just was at a stopping point. I'm scout. Oh, my bad. Hold on, hold on. I was. I need to go back and read. Uh, just at a stopping point. I'm scouting for new members for the rest of the night, but I saw you were alive, so I thought I'd swing by and say hi to both you and Sienna. Oh, thanks, man. The self uh, one. Okay, have a great night. This is a heart one too. Oh my god. Okay, so it is one. Hold on. Yeah, no. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you find some cool dudes. Hmm. That's right. brilliant. Mm. It is. I fucking suck. I fucking suck at chess. Fuck. I went from 408 to 370. How did I get 16th in a chess tournament out of 41? I don't know chess, man. <laughs> chess is hard. <laughs> I don't know it. I know checkers. Awesome, bro. <laughs> awesome. And what's more, I already have the infrastructure in place to accomplish this. Uh, what? Wait, infrastructure? What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. I definitely have implanted cameras in the men's locker room, and I'm definitely not selling them to compromise lock compromising locker room nudes.com as a side business, that's for sure. Yeah, no, never, Vera. We would never sus suspect that of you. <laughs> oh, that's good. Because if you were, that would be super me. Scott, you sweet boy. Hmm. Indeed. Looks like you solved the problem and stumbled into Vera's underground porn empire. Nice! You gained plus two smarts and plus one creativity. <sighs> I don't know if that's a good thing I stumbled my way down there or if that's a bad thing. I mean, hey, at least now we know <laughs> to avoid the men's locker room. You're right! <laughs> uh, we need more monies. Monies is here. Hell yeah. We got- Ooh, we got so much money. Look at us go. Later that day, you're out shopping with Vera and Polly, when a wild cockatrice appears. <laughs> it gallops through the mall, biting shoppers with its jagged beak and turning them to stone. Scott and Damien come chasing after it, holding a butterfly net and a frilly dress. Um. Is it a really big butterfly net? <laughs> Cause that might work. So, mm. so if you get the question about a proper blood ritual, is the trigger question for the ending? Okay, a hey, my fave gal in the game. Yes, it's Polly. <laughs> this isn't our fault. <laughs> we had nothing to do with this. Do what? What? What do you mean? I didn't see anything. <laughs> Ugh, another mythical creature crisis. Just when I'm starting to enjoy my shopping. Oh, but it's so cute. I bet that vicious chicken dragon really knows how to party. Scott and Damien see everyone looking at them and wisely hide inside a clothing rack. What are you going to do about this creature? Ignore it. Befriend it with a delicious Cinnabon. <laughs> I think it's one because this is definitely something Polly would do. You mean Vera? <laughs> no, Vera would ignore it. Polly would. Oh, okay. I thought you were referring to the first option when you said Polly. Yeah. You sigh, roll your eyes, and go back to your shopping. <laughs> That's right. Don't give it any attention. Attention is what it wants. The cockatrice kills 47 people and grievously wounds dozens more. A woman's child is turned to stone before her very eyes. For the rest of her life, she will visit her child's contorted statue every day to touch its tiny hand and weep. Oh my god. Meanwhile, you got a nice scarf for 50% off. You gained plus two boldness and plus one money. You save thanks to the discount. Oh no. Let's go. No. Oh my god, again. You expect me to want to choose between them. Why not both? <laughs> Let me have both. You find Damien and Vera huddled over a scale modder of spooky national bank made of milk cartons, lunch trays, and ketchup packets. Just the usual day, yeah. All right. We'll go in through the side entrance, disable the alarms within the EMP, and blow the safe. <laughs> Why don't we just blow up the side entrance, blow up the alarms, and blow up the safe? <sighs> because we only have so much C4, Damien. That sounds like a personal problem. What's this thing? Damien points at the kosher dill pickle in front of the vault labeled Police Ogre. That's the Police Ogre. 
He's got eyes all the way around his head. Never sleeps, doesn't take bribes, and it's invisible and is invincible in combat. I didn't hallucinate it. No, that is that is an actual thing. Can we blow him up? I love Damien is just like, I am a pyro. I crave violence every single day of my life. Every <laughs> moment, every waking moment, I wake up and just choose violence. <laughs> I only had... for real. <laughs> <laughs> what, Sam? <laughs> I only know how to use a single tool to solve my problems. <laughs> and it's plastic explosive. <laughs> No, we can't blow him up. We need to find a way or find a way around him. Scenic is just doing scenic things. Scenic was just making a face in chat and is doing There we go. I see it now. Well, I'm out of ideas. Yo, Vicky, we'll cut you in on the heist if you can solve this ogre problem for us. Luckily, you're a heist mastermind. Before Vera or Damien can react, you rob the bank yourself and split the money with Vera. Eat the pickle. No, she wants to rob it. Oh, it is one. Okay, fair enough. Quick as a flash, you take a cab over to the bank, walk in, in the front door, fist bump the ogre, the police ogre, and walk out with all the money. That is just the riz that Vicky has. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky just goes, hey, man, <laughs> doing a <laughs> daily withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> that is the power of saying please. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you just try until you get it. <laughs> Is this homie? They just, he was just like, hey, what's up? You ride back to school and dump half the money out on the table, totally burying their shitty scale model of the bank. What? How? You explain that you and the police ogre go to the same salsa dance class. Taking advantage of personal friendships for illicit profits? I never respected you more. <gasps> she respects us! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yes! Chat, she respects us. I assume this pile of money and gold ingots is my share. You nod, you nod sexily. What in the 12 year old Wattpad One Direction fanfiction is that? <laughs> <laughs> what if the real business snake mommy was the friends we made along the way? <laughs> <laughs> One streamer I got gifted. Oh, hold on. Got. Eh. Got gifted a sub to has quite the emotes, but they work for Monday streams. They do. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, where's my cut? I've got your cut right here, interloper. Vera stab- Ho! Oh! Damien does the stabby st Or Vera does the stabby stab to Damien with one of the irresponsibly sharp butter knives that the school provides. You've never been more turned on. No! Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, chat. Let's go. Um, yes, let's -a go. No. Oh yes, perfect. We get we get money through scams. <laughs> you see a truly rare sight. Vera and Damien are sitting behind a PC, speechless. Fucking metal. Wait, did we just rig an election in the? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's him. It's gerrymandering. <laughs> no! Wait, did we just rig an election in the Midwest? I was just trying to change the president's wallpaper to a dick pic. We need to cover our tracks, like, right now. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> oh my god. I spent 780k channel points. Ah! Or 780 channel points. Oh, dang! Well, don't just stand there, you innocent bystander. Help us! Yes, of course I'm talking to you. Damien can't help. Breaking shit is useless right now. I disagree. Smashing the internet is literally our only option. Blame someone else, like the Vanderbilts. Miranda won't be able to disprove it. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yes! Everyone will buy it. They practically ruined their brand already. You know, with the purges. But Vera... Bavira, isn't that kind of fucked up to frame our friend for a crime we committed? Damien, are you okay? <laughs> Guys, it's not Damien. Someone get him. That's not Damien. That's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> are you having second thoughts, Damien? You want hell to be seen backing a political candidate in this election? Oh. What did they do with my spicy man? I don't know. 
<laughs> how, to, how to help a demon have a conscience and be even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Hell is about all is all about strong, independent evil. We gotta drain the swamp and replace it with a lake of fire. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough politics. You gain plus two pulses and plus one smarts. What was the other thing we needed? Uh, was it? I think it was charm. Yes. I'm not sure. We have three charm. Tourney. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> let's get. Let's 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 fix that. Nine charm. Okay. Let's go. All right. Let's get that charm then. Where's charm? Here. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Chad, Damien, and Joy. I love Damien. I love them all. I wrote it down so I can remember it. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, someone is doing the- uh, a Scenic just put, I want to say, a cat doing the floss emote. It's great. As you walk down the hallway, trying to beat a level of bone crush on your phone, you run smack into Vera, also engrossed in her phone. Sure, feel free to read all read over my shoulder. You wouldn't understand the charts anyways. Wait, I'm both Vera fan and Damien Enjoyer. Exactly. Oh, that that's a beautiful little like sandwich. That's an amazing sandwich. Like imagine just like, you know, going to a party and then just like accidentally falling asleep with them. Oh no. <laughs> what a shame. Not I'm snuggled asleep. up between what? Yeah, asleep. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we just fall asleep. Nothing else happens. Miranda's been mouthing off about being a princess again, as if that's so amazing. Pathetic. Yeah. She's a princess underwater. You know what's underwater? Sea slugs and fish shit. You know what's not underwater? This school. Why should birthright matter when there are so many other factors that determine a person's worth? Their beauty, their cruelty, their business sense, and using all these factors, I've divided the school into cools and uncools. <laughs> oh, she does the the wife, the evil waifu laugh with like the hand up and just just. <laughs> talk. Oh no, I've been possessed by Polly. Let's go party. Oh no, I am not vaguely normal. <laughs> no, now I just need to find a way to reinforce the superiority of the cools over the uncools. Uncool students should have to carry cool students from class to class on ch chazes. Uh, rotting squid should be thrown at uncool students to remind them how uncool they are. I mean, everyone is cool and could be cool in their own way. I know she's a bully, but like... I feel like she, if she bullied me, it'd be okay. Oh, <laughs> not bad. It's true. The uncool student should really start taking responsibility for being the worst. Ha! Ah. <laughs> and Miranda uses fear-mongering tactics all the time. She shouldn't have a strand a stranglehold on that, so to speak. And maybe I could throw squid at them and then sell a squid repellent. That way, I can profit off their humiliation. By the end of the week, most students have at least a black eye or eight. Some students are spiders from being bombarded with squid. Vera, meanwhile, has created a thriving startup base on the distribution <laughs> of squid repellent. Damn, Snake Mommy's degrading me. Oh no, don't do that. Uh... <clears throat> Turns out dead squid being used as projectiles aren't really repelled by scent. But all it also turns out the student body at the school is really, really gullible. Vera gains money and status, and you gain plus two money as a royalties for your idea, and plus one smarts. We are swimming in cash. We are swimming. Let's go. Okay. You approach Liam and Vera at their table, but before you can sit down, Vera holds up a hand. Pathetic. Stop. This is the cool people table, where only cool people are allowed. So mainstream. I wouldn't agree with what Vera just said, but agreeing is something only uncool people do. Wouldn't you agree, Vera? We can at least buy three ta we can buy at least three tampons now. Let's go! <sighs> nice try, Liam, but I think we're getting away from the point. This interloper still wants to sit with us. Well, if she wants to sit with us, she's going to have to prove she's as cool as we are. But without, like, trying to prove it. Trying to so uncool. So, what's it gonna be? Well, I guess I'm gonna- I'll be going then, because there's no way anyone could be ever as cool as Liam. Let me ask you this. Would an uncool person be giving Vera 50 monster dollars right now? I don't have 50! 
Okay, you're cool. What? Money can't buy coolness. Really? Let me consult my list of things money can buy. Let's see. Or, organs, obedience, and there it is, coolness. Why is coolness in the O section of your list? Because it's not a real list. I pretended there was a list in order to fuck with you. Okay, cool. that's that's pretty cool. Speaking of cool, while I can't currently accept cash for campaign financial campaign financial reasons, I will remember this favorably in the future. Oh, perhaps a call on bad. you later for other favors. Ah! Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh no, I can't pay off my debt and money, Vera. Is there anything else I could do? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Oh my god. They can't do. Did you call you for a favor? That's right. I did. I committed tax fraud for her. <laughs> Just cute couple things. <laughs> Just like in those like really pretty fonts with like the ukulele noise in the background. With, for like in like the 2014 vlogs, he <laughs> just like just committed tax fraud for my beloved. <laughs> I'm so quirky. <laughs> <laughs> Defrauding the government via insider trading with your bestie. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't a swim. This isn't a swimming pool. This is a bathtub. <laughs> God. <laughs> you hope those favors are sexual in nature, but you don't say that because that is not a cool thing to say. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, um, we're at some point going to have to see if we need to get the tampon. Okay. Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned, and only Vera has the antidote. She does this all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. Hey there. <laughs> there you are. Thank you so much for coming. I'm embarking on a new criminal criminal enterprise, and I need a con- Oh my god, I can't say that word. <laughs> I can't read. I- uh, that, that- Huh? That's okay, I can't read either. <laughs> I'm so bad, I said dang more than once in my life. <gasps> Scenic, we don't fucking swear in this goddamn fucking Twitch chat. <laughs> How dare you? This is a good Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think Uber, but for killing people. He says, love the scenic, what the fuck? I call it murder. But it turns out the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. I need a way to get ahead of the pack. And since you're such a good advisor, I am. <laughs> Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers free range organic murder. I know I'm a bad boy, what can I say? Scenic's just over in the corner, like, up against the wall, like, having, like, a fake, like, like, a candy cigarette. He's like, yeah, I'm bad. I stepped on the cracks intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's Day was yesterday. <laughs> Two. Vi viral marketing, literally. Taylor, high contag highly contagious virus to make people love murder. You can do that? Great. You can use my private my private chemical weapons laboratory. Okay, Dexter's laboratory, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and so, this is working better than I could ever have imagined. I demand, the demand for murder has gone through the roof since you released that virus. What is with the numbers? I don't know. Bree said that right as I stepped on a crack. Oh no. <laughs> sure, the side effects include vomiting, bloody tears, male lactation, cobra feet, time dilation, rigor mortis, Rectal teeth? <laughs> no! This is not the worst thing on that list. <laughs> Renegade spleen, microaggressions, sudden tattoos, hair trauma, liquefaction, and coughing. Male lactation! Oh no! I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Chat's just stuck on the male lactation. <laughs> Honestly, that, yeah, that yeah. sounds about <laughs> You're in? <laughs> but it's well worth it for the profits I'm ranking in. Plus, I'm making a literal killing selling people to an the antidote for all those side effects. It's not actually an anecdote, antidote, though. It's actually just heroin. Same difference. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I'm in my house, but like from my kitchen to living room, it transitions from tile to wood. Oh my god. Did you know they used to give heroin to babies as a cough suppressant? Yeah, the real world is exactly as amoral as this video game. But whatever you, but whatever, you gain plus two creativity and plus one monies. Okay. That ain't a crack, that's a transition. Yeah, you're safe, Scenic. It's okay. Let's go. 
Um, we need two more charm. Okay. Sick. After a fearsome battle, you find that you, Vera, and Scott are the sole survivors of a bloody and terrible dodgeball match. Ugh. Damn, are we the only ones alive? Shit, I can't afford to lose. I don't want that on my academic resume. You- You- Oh, no. No, not losing. Losing is, like, not a good thing. Also, Scott has booty shorts. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of my computer real quick. Those are shorts. Shorts. No. They, they, look at them. They're nice. Don't worry, Scott. Losing is like winning. Except it's losing. Great okay. one, coach. I'm not sure if I should feel worried or relieved. Worried, Scott. Losing is bad. A loser, Scott, is a bad Scott. I don't want to be a bad Scott. Window key plus shift plus S, baby. Window key plus shift plus S. Thank you! I will use this later! I just love the, the vine of the one kid saying, I'm gonna say it. I don't care, you broke your elbow. Alt I plus F. <laughs> no, Aaron, I'm not going to be doing Alt plus F4. Also, everyone, uh, Aaron is now a mod in chat. Just so you all know. Everyone say hi, Aaron. Gem, I love you so much. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Then one of us. Then what we need is a fast way to turn this game around. There's no way to win this dodgeball match unless we completely change the rules of dodgeball as we know them. It's time to unleash your si your sick acting skills. Pretend you've caught a disease to stop the match. Um. So much power. So much power. So much. One. That would be funny. Alt F4. No, no, I know what Alt F4 is. You swiftly. I'm pretty sure it's to close all apps. Oh. Yeah. You s the reinvented spelling of the name, yes. You swiftly flee to the International Ministry of Sports and start a complex legal process. After an absurd whirlwind of illegal action and bribery, you finally drastically change the rules of dodgeball. You go back to high school, and the newest rule set favors your team in incomprehensible ways. Scott, you focus on catching the blue flamingo to gain... Oh god, I can see it. You missed out on the unspecified roommate fiasco yesterday. Yes, yes you did. Uh, another centipede skittered across my wall, and I asked Davin and uh, Aaron to come downstairs to uh, fix it. It, it got is? away. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, I don't know where it is now. It's in my walls. <laughs> I don't like it. Like you in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the centipedes. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. You two dance the tango so we can win this thing. Oh, I'll dance the tango with you. Yes, yes, please. Yes, me. I volunteer. Yes, please. You dance all the right moves that officially end the match way ahead of the other team. We're still com combing the half of their team, their team's llama. <laughs> He's building a regime. <laughs> well, I have no idea what just happened, but according to this rule book, you won. Holy cow, kids. I don't remember any of these rules. Yeah, I hear you crawling around with my palmento bugs and crickets all the time. I, I literally just appear in your walls. <laughs> I guess my memory lost at my memory lost at remembering stuff. Don't worry, coach. Losing is like winning. Except instead of winning, it's losing. That's right, Vera. And if you learn that, it means I've won at the ancient sport of teaching. Who knew that subverting the rules of a sport was that easy? We live in a wonderful and twisted world. You gain you end up reverting the rules back to how they were before. But boy, was that fun. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Ooh, have fun listening to music, dude. That explains the giggling I hear when I watch the tick two TikToks too loud. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, like, I'll just appear in the walls. Let's go. Um, okay. We can, we can go here. Is the what tampon is here? Aha! You can do both. Okay, can do we buy it now? Yes, okay, we do. Later, Gator. Oh, we lost a charm. That's okay, we can fix it. Oh, we lost two charm. That's okay, we can fix it. I have no idea. It's fine, it's fine. We'll 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 just have it right now. We'll have it right now. Okay. We can get the other charms back. So we'll just have it. Let's go. 
I can only listen to music if I leave. That's okay then, man. We're gonna just we're gonna be speeding through both things. Give me your money. No. Away with ye. Goodbye. No. I like. She kind of sounds like Amethyst a little bit from Steven Universe. Maybe it's just because she's purple. Well, let's go. <laughs> maybe maybe that's it. <laughs> Why is she Orpal? Why is she Orpal? <laughs> okay. And we're back at two charm. We're perfect. Between class periods, you discover a, sev a severed horse head in your locker. It's a no it has a note in its mouth telling you to meet Vera ASAP. All purple people sound the same. <laughs> hey, you. I'm so glad you've come. I have another crime problem, which would benefit from your insight. Thanks to your input, murder has cornered the market in app-based assassinations. And yet, the other crime lords don't take me seriously. Just because I'm not a 40-year-old man with a scary scar, those sexist morons think that this is just a phase for me. Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from a life of crime? It's disgusting. You're right! Girl boss your way in there! How dare they? How dare- you know what? You know what? You know what? Go after them. Take their customers. Do it. <laughs> Hijack the market! <laughs> Without a hit on your own app for them. Exactly. How can I show these sho chauvinist goons what crime really means to me? Come on, think of something. You're my most trusted advisor. <gasps> she trusts us so much. <laughs> Steal their kneecaps. Gemma's got the right idea. Quit crime. They'll come crawling back once they see how bad it is without you. Write a song about it. I'll help. <coughs> um. Don't. Um, it is two. Okay. Very well. I've always fancied myself a pop star. Just without the singing. Basically, I've just always fancied myself fabulous. Well, chop chop, get to work writing me a hit single that'll sh that will show my true love of crime. One night, a frenzied songwriting later. I like big crime. Oh my god! <laughs> Creativity is higher than charm. Crimes and I cannot lie. You motherfuckers can't deny. She's spitting. God damn. I I am not saying this. <laughs> No, no, I won't. When a girl walks in with a mask on her face yelling, put the money in the briefcase, you get it done. Because if you don't, I swear I will end all your lives. I fucking will. Don't test me. That's all right, Rat. You can stay. Wow, you're right. The song is a great idea. It even helped me rob this bank. The security footage of Vera's bank robber becomes a number one hit single overnight. She becomes too popular to prosecute. <laughs> the other crime lords are forced to accept her devotion to crime. Especially when she threatens a repeat performance of her single at every one of their safe houses. <laughs> Fuck Nicki Minaj, we got Vera, you're right. We got Vera over <laughs> here. I thought that said prostitute, not gonna lie. <laughs> no. God, she's too popular to prostitute. Yep! With all, dis with all disagreements, Menden, everyone decides to have a gang or to celebrate. You gain plus two boldness and plus one fun. That happens in this game. It does? Oh. Okay. She's a dominatrix. She is! Let's go! Oh! <laughs> I did not know that! I mean, I had an idea, but I didn't know! As you approach the table, you see Vera delicately lifting a fork full of- I can't- Nope. To her mouth. She brings lunch from home. Is it quinoa? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I- yay. I got a word right, guys! <laughs> <laughs> when food. Oh, that one. Yes, we know Ugh. what we're doing here. Uh, Scott, what on earth are you doing? I'm cheerleading you to help you be the best eater in the whole school. Woohoo, so smart. Thank you. What caused this obsession with cheerleading me through mundane activities that require no cheerleading? <laughs> Everything requires cheerleading, silly. That's why we have cheerleaders for our cheerleaders. But I can see my cheerleading's not working. You haven't eaten anything yet. That's because you keep startling me with your damn cheerleading. I can't eat when I'm startled. No, that can't be it. I must not be cheerleading hard enough. Hey, friend, maybe you can help me. Um, yes, yeah, so you should be cheer cheering for Vera to eat the food. You, sh you shouldn't be doing that. Yes, that. 
Oh yeah, she's a snake. <laughs> oh, duh. It's just like when we cheer for the other team to lose instead of cheering for our team to win. I'm gonna go raid Rose's house, so gonna be quiet for a bit. Okay, have fun. Tell Rose hi. Yes, I invent- Yes, I invented that cheerleading strategy. It gives us a huge psychological edge against teams that hate losing. I'm gonna go try it now. Those vegetables are gonna get so inspired! Scott runs off to the kitchen to inspire the vegetables. He can still hear his muffled shouting from the back. But it's not bad. That has been quite pleasing. I really like her voice, and that is all I'm gonna say. I really like her voice. Teehee. Thanks. <laughs> now I can finally enjoy this quinoa and baby tear salad without unwanted encouragement. For the next week, all the cafeteria food seems extremely eager to get in your mouth. Cheerleading really works. The ritual question will happen at any location, too. Okay. Just had to throw out one more emote spam. That is A-OK. -okay. All right. Oh, I hope. And she can read me Let's bedtime go. stories. She has such a nice voice. I love it. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Yes. I love the emotes of just the, the, the questioning face. Thank you. Thank you, Super. Um, we'll BRB. All right. Without warming, Vera pulls you aside and hisses in your ear. Ugh. Oh my god. The stalker's back. You follow her pointy, her pointed finger and see a guy dressed in a white toga and winged sandals facing away from you. He looks like a creep. Oh my god. Wait. Is it fucking Perseus? Perseus? It, wouldn't it be Hermes? No. He got the winged sandals from Perseus. It's the dude that oh. slayed M Medusa. <laughs> Wayne! Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's been following me everywhere. He thinks I don't notice him checking me out. Me out in that mirrored shield he has. But I totally do. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Ugh, it's such a chore being this beautiful all the time. How am I ever going to get rid of him? I'll kill him. I got it. <laughs> Threaten to feed a damsel to a seed monster. That'll distract him. He looks Greek. Why not bribe Zeus, king of the gods? That's so cute. Oh no, like the emotes that we have are like, the, the special emotes are always so fun. I think it's this one. Oh, it is. It's one. Hmm. Ah, yes. Great. Finally, a use for all these damsels my henchmen have been kidnapping. Yeah, first one is what happened in the original tale I read it. Yeah, no, that that is the one that, like, I was like, oh, I don't know if that's her. Um, based on money and smarts for that one. Oh, and also the sea monster I found shopping online. She just found a sea monster shop. I wouldn't be surprised. She can find anything. You're right. <laughs> one kraken for good home. <laughs> he he <laughs> likes pets, cookies, and destroying worlds. Mm-hmm. Vera mutters a few words into her collar. And minutes later, a high-pitched cry for help can be heard outside. Wait, give me the link. I want to see monster. I want to see monster. Feel bad asking, but just wanted to ask real quick. Did you upload the fixing emotes? I have not. I have to go do that real quick. I have instant upload ability now, so I will go and do that this time. Sometime, like, either after stream or this week. Followed by the gnashing of a sea monster's teeth and the screams of students. Sounds like Vera dropped the sea monster in the pool. Again. The creep in the toga immediately springs into action, shouting, I'll save you, Malay- Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Milady. Fucking neckbeard fedora looking ass. <laughs> I'll save you, Milady, as he sprints outside. <laughs> he won't, you know. I don't buy half-ass sea monsters. I'm a sleazebag, though, honestly. Milady. <laughs> you spend the rest of the period with Vera and pick up some good tips for buying the right sea monster. You gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. Okay. Can we get the secret ending? Let's go. I kind of hope we can. Please give us the thing. Please. Hey, Vicky. Remember that one time at that one party where you explained to me in great detail your brilliant secrets of the business world? Have you done Damien's ending? Yes, we have. Holy shit, you do not. And that doesn't sound like your area of, ex of expertise at all. You must have been pretty drunk. <laughs> but it's Vera, so you smile and nod. Well, I will be attending a very fancy and important business dinner event tonight, full of powerful people by exclusive invitation. 
And by exclusive invitation, I mean I'm going to use my Gorgon powers to turn the... C uh, I can't read that into stone and then sneak in. I'd love to see you put other people's money where your where your mouth is. If you're not doing anything tonight, I'm not. <laughs> you were planning on reorganizing your collection of very rare mint condition Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we've been doing it for a couple weeks. Oh yeah, we've been doing this for a couple. Yeah, yeah. The the popular trading card game based on the even more popular video game Poke or Pocket Humans. Each card depicts a human with a sp very specific job and bio. But that can wait. So when time rolls around for the fancy business dinner, you shove them in your pocket and roll out. Vicky, over here. Glad you can make it. I've been ra raking in business cards hand over claws so far. I met Gertrude Gor Gorgonzola, the diamond tampon tycoon, and Ray K. Bebop, the social media influencer, rapper, robot, and they're both very excited to do, to do business with me. Have I d or how have you done so far? You turn out your pockets and show Vera the evidence of your endeavors. Which consists of the lobby card for the hotel convention the ho for the hotel the convention is in, and the only thing handed to you by a real businessman is sticking out with the word no written in red sharpie. <laughs> me hey. too. Maybe I should have invited someone else. Literally anyone else. No! No, it's okay. You still have an hour left of the event. It's time to pull out all the stops and choose an amazing tactic to get as many business cards as you can to prove to Vera what a valuable business asset and slash or prom date you are. You may have no business and therefore no business cards to exchange, but you sure as hell have Pokemon cards. Trade those. Convince the business people you have a rare disease that can only be cured if you're given 100 business cards. That, 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 that's that, that's pretty smart. Fuck, they're equal. Uh oh. Um. 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 This one. Fuck. You stand on a chair and deliver a passionate, imp impassioned, unpassive speech about the severity of your illness and you just and your desperate need for business cards. It's incredibly effective. They all shuffle through their wallets for their business cards. You remember what Miranda once told you about rich people? They love staying ridiculously wealthy while just using just enough of that wealth in ways that make them appear sympathetic. Thank you all so much for your generosity towards this poor, sickly, suffering, ugly soul. Hey! Um, thanks? I will be collecting business cards on her behalf to cure her tragic compulsive lie- Oh, no. Com shouted a lizard person, who is also a doctor. You can tell he's a doctor because he's wearing a lab coat and a stethoscope. I guess this is how he always dresses regardless of circumstances. Yes, I've read about the old business card cure. The hundred cards must be blended into a paste to be administered. No, oh, no! Hello, Scout. <laughs> Hello, Scout. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> <laughs> the businessmen all mutter in agreement. I have a disease that's slowly killing me called living. No. <laughs> yes, eager to trust the doctor's authority. He also is wearing spectacles, so he looks super legit. Uh, I'll still be happy to be in charge of the collection. No, 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 says the lizard person. I'm a doctor. Everyone drop their business cards in this blender that I always carry with me just in case of- Oh, shit. We fucked up. Vera tries to protest once more, but her convincing arguments are drowned out by the whirring of the blender. Your plans have failed. You slink away in disgrace before business cards can be <laughs> shoved up your butt. No. After all, I've already lost two smarts and minus one fun. And Vera's respect. No! no! I'm gonna cry! Scout, what do you need? Do you scream? Let's go! <laughs> Crunchy man got a lot to say! He's like, you fucked up! It's all good, you only need 12 smarts. Okay! Vera's about to lift a glass of scotch to her immaculately painted lips. You can drink whatever you want at the school, apparently. He's very talkative. Yes, Scout is a very talkative little man. He a little guy. When Miranda screams, <gasps> Stop! Don't drink that! What? Why not? The scotch costs more than most cars. Has your taste taster tried it yet? What taster? You don't have a taster? What if your drink is poisoned by someone jealous of your good looks and royal title? Listen, Mary, I only drink four things. Scotch, red wine, the tears of my enemies, and straight up poison. You drink poison on purpose? Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? 
Well, well, you should still have a taster. What if someone puts really spicy hot sauce in your drinks? Or, or poison? She calls her Miri. Aw, that is really cute. <sighs> what do I have to do to get you to drop this? Simple. Hire a taster. Fine. Any volunteers? This might be just the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand. When Vera picks you, you... Drink all her scotch. Oh, no. Pretend to be poison. Terrifying Miranda and amusing Vera. Yep. You shoot Vera a wink, taking the tiniest sip of her scotch, and then... No, no! Stop vomiting! How will you be able to taste for poison if you're too busy foaming at the mouth and vomiting? Yes, Scout, can I help you? Do you really have something to say to chat? <laughs> yes, he does. He's like, how dare you not pay attention to me? How dare you do anything else? He wants to express his opinions, damn it. Yes, he's a very talkative <laughs> man. Oh my god, dude. I'm, I'm doing something. Scout. Scout. He hunger. No, he does not. He got fed already. You bastard, you got fed. Homie's on a schedule. <laughs> he is. <laughs> starving. Yes, Aaron, he is absolutely starving. You fool. She is poison. Run and tell the authorities before this poor sap's face melts off or something. If Vera want to face stream, to face stream, you should do a scout cam. <laughs> <laughs> Just do yes. a scout cam. Yes. That would be great. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my. I'm no good in crisis situations. Curse my uniformly pleasant childhood. Miranda fates with the utmost drama. There's one thing princesses are good at. It's fainting. <laughs> that was hilarious. I should put poison in my scotch more often. Or just scout. We don't need to see you. Uh, he's just hes just my face cam. It's just scout. Yes. You can stop vom- You can stop vomiting now, by the way. She passed out. Oh, do you need the antidote? Oh, right, here you go. I guess I should have let you know the scotch was actually poisoned. Oh, well. How about we get ice cream to make up for it? <gasps> Please. He don't sit still enough. I mean, he might. Your stomach's still too weak for ice cream. But you're never too sick to spend some quality time with Vera. Oh. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get it, though, is the thing. That sucks. I'm gonna go eat some. Let's go. Okay, Rack. Do... Go ahead. What? What do we need for scat? It was, it was supposed to... I think it was supposed to be some... It'll be exciting to just anticipate scout popping up. Yes. Yeah. I think we just needed a prompt. Mm. Ah. Your mind's barely on what you're doing, though. All you're really concerned about is your situation with Vera. Throughout her latest gang war, you've been her closest and most trusted advisor. Maybe too close. You're worried Vera's become so dependent on your advice, she'll blind to you. she's blind to your true romantic intentions. It's a random triggered event. Ah. If only you had the courage to tell her how you really feel. After all, you don't want to end up in the advisor zone. <laughs> you're so lost in thoughts of unrequited love, you hardly notice Vera sneaking up on you. Maybe that's also because of the invisibility cloak you helped her pick out? Hi. <laughs> there you are. I was just going to pick you up. We've got a date tonight. A date? Then perhaps your affections aren't unrequited. What the heads of Monster City's major crime factions to celebrate the end of the latest gang war? Uh, you're such a good and loyal advisor. I can imagine going without you. <laughs> Vera, no. I want to be your advisor. And I also want you to tell me what to do. Please! <laughs> right, of course. Trying to hide your disappointment, you accompany Vera to the peace conference. But soon, you can have horse racing. But if you think I'm giving up murders at Monopoly, you've got your head so far up your ass it's popping back out of your shirt collar. Oh! Larry, the actual crocodile, snaps his fangs. Gunbozo Gennetti Gennetti of the deranged clown assembly honks in disapproval. Timmy the knife baby chews his rattle menacingly. <laughs> Alright, you scumbag, settle down. But it's too late. Larry the Croc unveils a wicked machine gun. Gunbozo makes a rocket launcher out of twisted balloons, and Timmy the knife baby produces a lot of knives. Hey, advisor, a little help here? If you don't save Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So you take a deep breath and confess your feelings, kiss Larry the Croc on his big crocodile mouth. <laughs> I don't know which one. Scout, you're not helping. <laughs> He's like, yes, I am. 
Yeah, what do you want from the chews? <laughs> I have a lot of input. <laughs> <laughs> it's two? Okay. Fuck it. If you're not gonna get with Vera, you might as well get it on with a freaky crocodile, dude. You lock lips? What? What are you doing? Are you trying to bite his teeth off? Or are you... Oh. Oh, wow. Have you ever had a pair of pears and ate the pears that is a... Jesus Christ, that's a lot of pear. Larry the Croc is even more surprised than Vera. He and the other crime lords drop their weapons in amazement. Giving Vera the perfect opportunity to shoot them all with her own ak akimbo... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> akimbo Uzis. Ha! <laughs> Love conquers all, suckers! Now wipe the blood and crocodile saliva off, Vicky. I'm taking you out to dinner. Ah! Yes! Oh, don't blush. I know you were just trying to make me jealous by making out with that dangerous crime reptile. But you know what? It totally worked. Ah! Let's go! <laughs> Scout is so happy. <laughs> <laughs> he screamed. <laughs> We did it, kinda, in one way, yes. Very talkative kitty. Yes, very, very talkative kitty. He is- When I was first starting to stream, he would occasionally just crash stream and be so fucking loud. Mm -hmm. With Vera as the new queen of crime in your city, anything is possible. She even gets you plastic surgery to cover up the crocodile bites. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Vera? Will you go to prom with us? Hi. Please. Oh my god, she's so tall! Uh. Let's go. <gasps> Please. Prom? You know what, my dear advisor? I think lately I've focused too much on all our crime adventures. It's nice to be rich and feared. But what's the point if I don't get to enjoy life from time to time? So I have the feeling prom night could be a great way to unwind. What do you advise me to do? And then she... She winks at you. That's so rare that we don't even have art of her doing it. Also because she has an eye cover. In the end, you and Vera have a lovely evening together. That will teach them. Wait, no, that's another secret one! Wait, we did get one! Followed by lots of thrilling crime adventures. Vera starts falling for you. She values how you respect her individuality and even support her career by being her trusted advisor. The two of you do a great job of juggling being partners in both love and crime. Mostly because Vera's great at everything she does. Or so she, or so she reminds you constantly. Also, she reminds you that two of you may be partners in love, but in crime, you're still superior. You're still superior and advisor. But that's Vera for you. And under all that ferocious confidence, he can also perceive a deep respect for you. So beautiful. Crime is always the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we did it! Oh my god, we did it. Yay! Okay, so we got one secret ending. Sam, I know you said you had to head out probably, right? Yeah, I'm a mosey on here, but I'm glad I stayed to the end there because like, I knew you are going for a secret ending, so yes. I wanted to see how it ended. Yay! Awesome. Have a good night, man. Thank you for joining. Hey, Scout, thanks for having um, me. Scout, bye. Say, say bye, Scout. <laughs> he said goodbye. Bye, Scout. He said goodnight. Bye. Bye. Grace, are you going to be staying on? Because I think I'm going to try to go for Miranda. Yeah, I'll stay for a little while longer. Sick. Okay, guys, what do we think? We going to go for Miranda? I think I think we can get that. So then that way next time we can go and do the one we wanted to do. Um... Let me see. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, you have unlocked four new images in the gallery. I must see. That is the ritual. We have to go see. I love it so much. Miranda has thrown in revenge endings. My meow is in the Discord. <gasps> new friend! New little guy! New baby! I must see. Miss Tora. Oh, I love that name. She's precious. It's so cute. Oh, friend. Little baby. I love her. Tora is Japanese for tiger. Oh. 
she's just a little baby. I love her. Oh! I really actually like Miranda with all these hair colors. Yeah. They're so nice. I like them. Now fan art. What's the new fan art? What's the new fan art? Oh! Oh, interesting. Yeah! I don't, I don't know why I never thought about them together. That one is my... That one is my... Mine. I have three cats and three dogs. Oh, babies! All right. Now comes, I think, okay, who do we do for Miranda? Who do we do? Mm, I feel like, um, I, why can I never remember their names? Uh, the fire, the fire. Oh, um, Amira. Yes. Amira. Light it up! Oh, she's so pretty. Fuck! <laughs> I love her! Grace and I are the same. Yeah, Raven said fire babe in chat, too. Love. Yes. Okay. Huzzah! I'm speeding past. Okay, so now we go for fish baby. Okay. So, Raven, what- So you said- Miranda has throne and revenge endings. Oh hi Scenic! We got the we got the secret ending with um uh Vera being a crime boss. That was the secret ending, so yes. Okay. Now we need Does anyone know what we need for um Vera or not Vera, Miranda. Which god do you pray to each night before sleeping? Oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers every night. I even started to look for a Chinese factory. <laughs> nope, that's that. That is, uh... That is Vera. Praying is for fools. I took compromising pics of a god... Oh! Ah! I'll look up pic. Ah. Praying is kind of lame. I have a group text set up with some deities. Dionysus, Basset, Loki. Coolest cats in town. Nine charm and nine money. Oh my god, that's so easy. Oh, we got this. Um... Wait, 13 for- oh, 13 for both. Okay, that's fine. Got snacks, let's go! Um... That's Vera. That's also potentially- they, they both sound like Vera. Um... Those guys. Charming, yeah. I forgot that we do long, not short. Ah. School is outdated and lame. We need a new school subject, ASAP. How to correctly punch a crocodile without terrible consequences. Turning people into your puppets through emotional warfare and deception. Critical thought. I mean, damn, this country could really use a subject like that in schools. Hold on one sec. I'm I'm scrolling. Crime Voss Vero looks cool. Yeah. Okay, so we need 13 charm, 13 money. Just to... Uh, yes. Oh, no, this one. We knew. We knew which one. Hello, I made it and took a nap. Hey, Zon, what's up? Sunny! Yay! Belgium waffle, roasted this. seaweed, and white chocolate lemoncello almonds. Ooh, that sounds really good. <laughs> Sunny said, Grace! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have seven charm and five monies. Okay, we'll work on monies first. Throne starts with her complaining about someone and wanting to ruin their reputation and revenges her wanting to do something nice for no one in particular. Ah... Easy steps to enlarge your tentacles. Mm hmm Yep. Okay. <laughs> you see Liam talking to Miranda. Miranda looks confused, and Liam looks frustrated. Uh-oh. Yuck! But I simply do not understand this art you are describing. You say that this art piece is... a bathroom? No, no, no. For the hundredth time, the art piece is the experience of going into a bathroom thinking it's an art piece. I have Nova cuddling me right now. Nova! You baby! You fluffy baby! The artist purposely gave the room number of the bathroom as the room number for the exhibit. Even though there was a whole room full of his paintings everywhere in the building, it was revolutionary. She looked at my phone. Nova! The baby! <laughs> it looks- it certainly seems very complicated. 
Personally, I prefer the exoplanet, exoplanet sculptures of the Atlantean Fifth Dynasty. You know, the man in the moon, the face on Mars, and of Pluto. All of Pluto, art on such a grand scale. So mainstream. <laughs> that's not art. That's populism at its worst. They will trigger at any location to shit. Well, I don't think that bathroom business sounds like art. But how are we supposed to discuss art if we can't even agree on what it is? Oh, if only someone would come along and provide a satisfying definition of art, I would be so pleased. You've got this. No problem. It's so simple. Art is a method for making worthless things into very expensive things. Art isn't art unless it makes you feel bad and f feel bad feelings inside. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's one. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, how majestic! Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, how true! Mars was just a bunch of sparsely populated red rock before Giblet Grinston completed his masterpiece. After that, he was able to sell it to the Ar Arcturians for a trillion doubloons. Doubloons! They're back! <laughs> <laughs> the TikTok doubloons are back! I never understood it, therefore I never bought any. <laughs> I googled lemoncello and it says it's alcohol. What is lemoncello? Yeah, no. Uh, Rat said something. Lemoncello alcohol. I don't understand what that is. I never downloaded TikTok. I have TikTok. I barely go on it. Where's the doubloon kitty? Petition to make either Nova or um, Nutmeg the new doubloon kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The Martians weren't- I feel like Nutmeg is steals doubloons, so I don't think she should be giving them away. Nova gives doubloons. Nova giveth and Nutmeg taketh. <laughs> <laughs> the Martians weren't happy about it, but you know what they say. Sometimes we must suffer for other people's art. Who is Nova? Nova is Zani, um, Zani Lin in chat. That's her kitty. Yes. Kitty kitty. She also has one named Juno. And then Nutmeg is, uh, our friend Anna's kitty. Yes. But was formerly Grace's kitty. Yes. Little baby. Not bad. Yes. That last bit is the only part of what you're saying that I agree with. So that's what happened to life on Mars. He gained some new knowledge about the solar system, and also plus two smarts and plus one charm. She is truly the bestest baby. She is the fluffiest little fucking thing ever. I love her. <laughs> she's so small, she has very tiny meow, and she's just fluffy. Let's do this! All right, we go to Miranda. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. I love limoncello, it's so good, but yeah, it's an alcoholic drink. Ah. You guys can enjoy it for me. <laughs> Ooh, what's this one for? <gasps> That's the forking spoon. It's a spoon for... Oh, we know what this mm. one is. She has monster meow when she's hungry or wants me to wake up. <laughs> so, Scout. Oh, someone dropped something upstairs. Um, uh, the salad harp. Yes. Aw, oh, BB. A harp? For salad? Why has no one thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat a salad with a harp? Creighton? Who said anything about eating? Isn't that what silverware is for? He's just asking, stop it! Perish the thought. Can I send videos in the Discord? You might be able to, if not, send them to Raven and then Raven can put them, or can send them to Scenic and put it in the Discord. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hands something to do while, you're elegantly, while you elegantly avoid your food. And nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle lament on a harp while your serfs eat your salad for you. Bet I'ma send one of Nova meowing. Yo, baby! My serfs will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to have a harp commissioned. Tilly is eating tuna out of a can and I got scared. Tilly! <laughs> Miranda takes you harp shopping with her. It's a real bonding experience. Afterwards, you both ignore a salad together at a fancy restaurant. Girl, how are you not wasting away? Let's do this. How was she not wasting away? I don't know. Alright, we do poker real quick. Without meaning to, you find yourself in a conversation with Polly and Miranda. Mitosis. Oh my gosh, you own a shrimp rat? Does your shrimp fry rice? Is he a renowned chef? Yes. Yes. Shrimp. 
comparing the apps on your phones. <sighs> oh, what you got, Miri? What you got? God fucking damn it! <laughs> yeah, not the fried rice. You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Well, I have this game, Misunderstanding of Mobs. I'm not entirely sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. My friend has a shit ton of shrimps. They're so cute. <laughs> I've also got Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. How majestic. And Spooner, which is like a dating app, but for silverware. You know, I like my apps elegant and majestic. That's pretty cool. But do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. Wow. What about you, Amira? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impress us with something rad. Uh, Tiger, an app that can make tigers appear anywhere. There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Um, not much. Just this one app I made that turns my phone into a rad car. Transformers? Transformers. Bumblebee, Autobots, roll out. <laughs> um. Oh, it's one. Okay. <gasps> oh my! My head is swimming with the myriad uses of such an app. Our royal zoo has been tigerless ever since all the tigers drowned in their underwater cages, which was immediately. I had, I've had my shrimp for like seven years and it is unnamed. Name him Wumbles. Wumbles. <laughs> no, a uh, rat came in and named our shiny skidoo Wumbles. Okay. Pa yeah. We're, ta we're getting all the Miranda's hearts down. Name him Rice. Polly in a tank top? Let's go! Yes, let's go! She's so cute. We have been looking for a way to replenish our supply ever since. Mm -hmm. And you know what I say? It's not a real party until there are tigers literally everywhere. Is that so? How many real parties have you been to then, Polly? Oh ho! None. Yet. Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family zoo. Polly asks if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. What could go wrong? You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. <gasps> Tigers are just, uh, like, if not supposed to touch, why friend-shaped? <laughs> if not supposed to give ear Let's scritches, why friend-shaped? Okay, uh, we'll go get more money real quick. We need 13. Alright. Especially polar bears. Yes! If not supposed to touch, why friend-shaped? Later, you, Vera, and Miranda meet to prepare your case for your ruthless rhetoric act class. Ugh. A polar bear could and would fucking kill me, but I want to pet one. Yes! Kitty video in Discord! <laughs> Hold on. Everyone gets to hear. <gasps> She's so talkative, I love her! <laughs> it worked, yay! Your scenario for the week. Monsters finally rule the world, but puny humans still demand equal rights. How will you deal with such audacity? Oh no. <laughs> 14 hour workday. Media censorship. Start a fictional war. Ugh, that sounds like so much work. Can we just throw money at them? It did. If it's not a link, it should work. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, or cake. I heard if you let them eat cake, they calm down. What about you? Do you have any ideas? You're not, you're not one of those group members who just lets everyone else do the work, are you? She's fluffy. Uh, just remember the three the three R's. Relocation, re-education, reintegration. The problem is that they're not happy, so let's repress them into happiness. Oh my god. I don't know. Um I think this is I think this is Miranda. Oh, it's one. Super fluffy. She has such a long mane. You purpose you pur propose setting up a safe havens for certain uh, model humans where they can enjoy equal rights. But these safe havens are actually propaganda factories designed to show that monsters are naturally better than humans. After that, indoctrinating humans are sent back into the wild to spread the correct idea. It's a good plan, but what about the ones that won't buy it? Well, we need to get the food for the safe havens from somewhere, don't- OH NO! What? Well. <laughs> oh no. I received my monthly compliment today. You're doing great, rat. Also, oh no. <laughs> Miranda's cost-effective thinking convinces Vera, or at least scares her enough to concede. He gained plus two creativity and plus one smarts. You are so smart and strong, much better than those puny humans, right? Oh no. <laughs> also, Grace, do you have to head out? 
It is 10. Let's do this! Yeah, I should probably go. All right. It's okay. Have a good time at work tomorrow. Thank you. Thank bye. You. Bye. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Zani says love you. <laughs> All right. Now it is just I. Bonk. A bonk. As a man, I am only awarded with one a month. Nah. You get more. You're super, you're super, you're super good. It's all good. You're over at Scott and Miranda's table to find Scott happily chowing down while Miranda stares horrified at her tray. What's wrong, Miranda? Uh, yeah. Isn't it obvious? Right here, on my tray. Fish sticks! You deserve more. Yes. <laughs> yeah! Fish sticks Friday! Isn't it great? It is not great, Scott. The fish are my subjects. This is clearly the work of the air people. Uh, um, uh... Air people? Yes! Do you not know of the air people? The Merfolk's most hated rivals? Don't you read the news? Um, yeah, sure. Because I totally know how to read. What? Well, I must insist that you cease eating those fish sticks immediately. It is high treason. Oh. Aw, oh, but I've been looking forward to fish stick Friday since... Since last fish stick Friday. Are you sure I can't eat any? He's asking Miranda while holding a fish stick really close to his mouth. But you feel like you've got a better answer to settle this argument. You blurt out. Um, I was curling two desks stacked on top of each other and I did 50 rat. Oh, God. Strong. Strong boy. Haven't you heard, Scott? Fish sticks make you worse at sports. They contain bul baltropinol and ner nerdoflavin. Yeah. Oh, no. Not nerdoflavin and baltropinol. Those are two of the worst ones. Do the air people want me to be bad at sports? <laughs> of course they do, Scott. The air people hate sports and sportsmen. It is one of the most loathsome things about them. Aside from their feathers and their socialism. Well, then I'm not going to eat any more fish sticks ever again. Fish stick Friday. More like fish stick. Uh, fish stick. Bye day. Yeah. Man, I got to go tell the rest of the wolf pack about this. My god. Himbo bimbo duel. <laughs> Himbo bimbo. Scott runs off to spread anti-air people propaganda. And Miranda gives you a most regal smile. <gasps> I can change her. I can do it. I can do it, guys. I can do it. Let's do this! Um, we need more monies. Okay. Thump pump. You're fucking around on your cell phone. See, stream foes what I miss. Oh, we just uh, got Scott to go tell people not to eat fish sticks. That's it. You're fucking around on your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates fucking around on their cell phones, too. But louder and with more ag aggravation. He has a tennis ball bouncing around and she has a goldfish swimming and bonking on the tank in their noggins. Yep. Paulina, this is, an in this is an institution of learning, and I am finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate with you making tigers appear everywhere, constantly, and they will soon overrun the school. Fucking relatable. I find it simply abhorrent the amount of money you are funneling into Tiger, when an app advertises itself as a free, but then gets you addicted and causes you to end up paying more and more money. Ni minus 99 monies at a time. That's just awesome. I have the goldfish. Exploitive... Exploit hated of the weak-willed. And I love exploiting the weak-willed, but I prefer when you do it with me. What's so special about Tiger anyway? That you're blowing all your money on it rather than investing in our schemes. Um, where to even begin? The premium features are dope. You can design the stripes on your tigers, pick custom colors, pick whisker size and strength. You can find out whether or not a tiger has super liked your profile and what pictures it's favorited. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I necessarily want to date a literal actual tiger. I just want to know if the literal actual tigers want to date me, as they should. I mean, yeah, Polly, I would date you. <laughs> you must realize how insane that sounds. I mean, hearing it out loud did sound pretty whack, I guess. Plus, if the tigers get hungry and start eating people, and honestly, it's shocking they haven't done that already, we won't have anyone to rip off. Right, because the tigers will be ripping off their arms and legs. Good point. I'll just delete the app and get rid of the tigers. Man, I woke up from my nap and now I'm nauseous. I have to wait two hours to take my med again. Aw, dude, I'm sorry. Do you have any ginger ale or anything that might be able to help? There, deleted. And yet there, tigers, here, tigers. And yet there, tigers, here, tigers, everywhere, tigers. I have grape soda. Okay. Huh. I wonder why that didn't work. Choose some minty gum, maybe? That is also one. Maybe because getting rid of downloadable contents on a phone is no way to destroy living flesh and blood beings in the real world? 
But you know what might actually work? For every tiger in the school, release three anteaters, the natural enemy of tigers, as everyone knows. Have Coach talk to them. He's a tiger, right? Or like a tiger adjacent something? <laughs> oh, it's one. I can't do gum with my TMJ. I do have wintergreen mints, though. Think those might work? Those might. Ah, a brilliant solution. I happen to have an anteater supplier that brings me fresh anteater eggs. One of the finer and more obscure delicacies of the world. I'm sure he can bring some by the school. Fuck, yeah. And you're sure that- And you're sure that anteaters don't lay eggs and someone has been exploiting Liam. But since it's benefiting you in this case, you might as well let it slide. Okay, I'm gonna get up and try them. Okay, good. Before long, Liam's anteater egg dealer has showed up with a verti ver veritable army of anteaters. Sorry, Novas. No! The anteaters go through every corridor and, cor and corner of the school, driving out the tigers, wherever they may hide, with their long tongues, poor eyesight, and penchant for eating termites. All of which tigers hate. Duh, didn't you know that about tigers? The anteaters are also generally useful around school, eating all the insects that crazy Martin the werebear janitor doesn't have time to get rid of since he's always so busy dealing with your fucking antics, and, he f uh, and he's left with very little time to actually perform maintenance on the school. In the DLC, I think. What is- is there- yeah, Zoe is in the DLC. Damn! These anteaters are awesome! You go, girl! Get those insects! Get- clean those cobwebs! Chase those tigers! You know, Polly, enough people have downloaded Tiger that I bet that as the fat dies, there are gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of people looking to get rid of the app and their tigers. I think I know where you're going with this. Good. We should re-download Tiger and start a second round of the app's popularity. Polly, no! This is what we should be spending our money on. We need to make our own Tiger-style app, which allows you to rent anteaters to get rid of any ants, termites, or tigers you might have lying around. Hell yeah! That's way better than my idea. We can call it... It, uh, huh? And remember to advertise that their eggs are also rare and delicious. Sure, Liam. Whatever. The tigers are gone. Everyone liked your solution. You get plus two fun. And from watching predators flee from insectivores. And you get plus one money since Polly and Vera brought the... Bought the idea from you. I do not know how to say that. On the bed? Okay. Have a good night. Wanna say good night, chat? Okay. Good night, chat says... Sorry, Devin says goodnight, chat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh. Let's do this! I will try to keep it down. Thank you. Alright. Um also we will try to we need to try I will try to keep it down a little bit more, mainly because we have a new roommate and he is uh needing to get up in the morning. Um we need charm now, right? Actually we'll get a little bit more money just in case. What a label. <laughs> Any afterwards, Miranda summons you. New room roommate? Yes, his name is Matt. He's pretty neat. It feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her merman's goons. Her merman goons. Same, I have a doctor app at a doctor appointment at 7.45 a.m. Yes, Sonny, go to bed. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good night. Fuck that. Rad, I replied to you in the Discord. Ah. Greetings, fellow classmate. Thank you for coming, my dear. She called me dear. Oh my god. I have finally decided to trust you with my most important aspiration. I am destined to be the queen of prom. The royal ascension is nigh. We must prepare. Most of my competition is naive. They foolishly assume that prom queen is a purely ceremonial title. Except Ursula Jr. She pr she's proven to be quite a worthy rival. I respect that. Which is why we must destroy her reputation immediately. I would, but I have to go get Austin like 35 minutes. Ah, okay, got it. Any thoughts? Uh, let's convince everyone that she likes humans. I think this is the one. Throne. It is the throne one. Let's fucking go, guys. <laughs> Fart joke. No, Aaron. We're That's the- Yes, that is the PFP. It doesn't take much to make someone look bad in this day and age. You, however, are monsters and went for a total overkill. You are a Chinese hacker to plant 10 years of pro bono work rescuing human babies from lawnmowers in Ursula's name. At recess, Dr. Baby Love of the Baby Love Institute appears out of nowhere and presents her with a Humanity Award. Yes, this will seriously harm her standing with the evil lawnmower creature contingent. contingent. That's an important voting block. They're the ones who keep the schoolyard so tidy. You gain plus two boldness and plus one smarts. Even better fart joke. <laughs> oh my god. 
You're right. Let's that is true. This. Um, boop. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread, while her eating surf chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. What a noob! I mean, even the knives don't really look that deadly. Silly boy, this silverware is not for killing. Things can be f things can be for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. Well, of course they do. But that's not even- they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands, as befit the lower classes. So you're saying the silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? These two could go round and round like this forever. Unless you say something to resolve this dispute. Um... Uh, Damien's right, Miri. Maybe it is time you start murdering people with your silverware. Or lay off Miranda, Damien. What about your collection of exotic corpses? My god, yeah, it's too. That's different! Those corpses are useful! Useful for what? For... For... Holding on important documents. What's important document? Or what important documents? Documents about... Very important... Ugh, fine. I guess I don't use the stupid corpses for anything. I'll just stack them in a sh I just stack them in a shed and occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. There, are you happy? Extremely. Whatever, I'm gonna go play with my corpses. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> you stay behind with Miranda to admire her collection. She even teaches you how to use the romance fork. Smooth. We got the romance fork, guys. <laughs> we got the romance fork. Alright. Let's we do this! Need... What was it that we needed? Um... We needed 13 for charm. Okay. Uh, where's charm? In here. Ooh, I haven't seen her art yet. I love it. That day, an epic dodgeball max takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. This one, yes. Let's go. You notice Polly bent over her phone, while Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. Something really interesting must be going on on Polly's phone. When you get closer, though, you see that Polly's just on horny dating app, again, swiping right on everyone. <laughs> Miranda seems entranced, though, and a little worried. Well, what did you say this was called again? Horny dating app? <gasps> and if there is an app for finding... And is it an app for finding true love? Um... <laughs> sure. Oh, how but, majestic! But I never knew! I've spent countless hours going to royal balls and kissing frogs and pretending to be a magical in a magical slumber. <gasps> when I could simply have been using this app? I mostly just use it for collecting dick pics. What are these dick pics? Tokens of affection? Oh, alas! To be so far behind in my quest for love. No, no, Miranda. No, no, no. That, that's not what they are. No, they're not. No, no. That, that isn't that not the case. <laughs> I'm 19 years old, practically an old maid, and only now learning of this? You're, you are literally, oh. You, what, no. 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 Oh, how will I ever make up for lost time? She's so small. No worry, I'll coach you in the mysterious ways of hoarding dating, horny dating apps, Tim. You'll have a whole harem in no time. You still don't have horny, horny dating app, Tim? Why should you worry having? Why should you worry having that when you can actually own horny dating app? Why don't you just buy the entire company? I feel like that's it. I feel like that's it. Like that one might be. I don't know. I am worried. <laughs> Oh no. Um. Hey, Raven. Which one is it? I don't know. I mean, like, that one works. Confusion. I don't know. I think. Mm, do I go with my gut? I feel like I go with my. Oh, it is too? Okay. <laughs> Ah, yes, of course! I will simply purchase the app and require all of its most attractive and heroic users to date me. It is exactly how my father met my mother, except with the Indian Ocean instead of horny dating app, t horny dating app TM. Oh, alright, go ahead, rat. Polly, I will give you $230 million for hoarding a horny app TM. Ugh. 
They put Tinder in the answer, so I got confused. Oh, God. I mean, okay, but, like, I don't actually own the company. What do you mean? I thought you said you had... You had Tinder or something. Yeah, on my phone. I have a copy of the app. I don't own any successful internet startups. Oh, yes, I had forgotten you were poor. I'm so so... Oh, my God. Oh no. My god. Oh yes, I had forgotten you were poor. I'm so sorry. Oh no. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> I must depart. Well, anyway, I'm off to buy a I'm off to buy fucking grinder now. Goodbye. Have fun. Now might be a good time to uninstall grinder from your phone. Meanwhile, you gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. She just burnt a ghost. Oh my god. Grinder. Yeah. Let's do this! Alright. One more. Yes. Alright. Somebody puts a sack over your head and throws you in a car. You drive for hours before they let you out and take the sack off. It's clearly the first floor restroom. Miranda is sitting on a makeshift throne while her goons jump in and out of the toilet. Greetings! Salutations! I'm glad you came. My prom queen campaign is moving on to the next stage. Your expertise is crucial for this part. Most of my inner circle are fish. Hardly helpful unless genetically engineered beyond recognition. <coughs> ah, I have a stuffed nose. <laughs> yeah, in a van kit. <laughs> my god, we rolling. It was, it's literally a... So what made you kidnap me? Speaking of which, I need you to help me sneak a three meter tall, heavily armed cod assassin named Tresca into the school. No reason, but if you're friends with that singing harlot Ariel, you'll best say you best say your goodbyes. Oh, Ariel? <laughs> um, do nothing. Every student in our school is some kind of bizarre monster. So how did you get here willingly? <laughs> I don't know. We need a diversion. Release the kraken. <laughs> oh, it's one. That is so true. As a matter of fact, I think we already have an enormously heavy armed codfish at our school. Jessica can simply kill him and take his place. It's a, it's as father always says. You can't make an omelet without severing collateral damage. Severe collateral damage. My bad. That is the sort of plan Jessica should have been able to come up with on his own. He is an assassin after all. He almost did a lower class's job. Phew. He saved my dignity. Doing a cod's job is like a hundred ranks beneath me. Right next to be from, right next from being from Iceland. One more trigger question we get, baby. Yes. You've just averted the real crisis here. You gain plus three bull- Oh my god, three bullness. Holy shit. Oh my god. Let's do this. We're just gonna keep sitting with her. The table you chose is quite crowded. Leon sits across from Miranda, who is flanked by two well-dressed servants. One of the servants cuts a slice of Salisbury steak and feeds it to the other. <sighs> Seriously, Miranda, do you have servants to chew your food for you? Ugh, disgusting! What? Of course not. That would be barbaric. The servant happily swallows the Salisbury steak. I have servants to eat for me. They're called eating serfs. Do you not have any? First of all, no, I don't eat food. Second of all, that totally defeats the purpose of eating. Aren't you worried about starving? Why would I be? My serfs get all the calories I need to stay fit and healthy. Enough. I have no objective reason to care about this, but suddenly it's all I care about. Someone convince Miranda to stop this madness. Um. Does your cat take long naps and wake up and eats, then sleeps again? Well, not anymore. The cat alarm, alarm, cat alarm, alarm. Cats only here. <laughs> My God. Not bad. You might have a point there. For too long, I have needlessly ordered off the cafe. Oh yes, uh, Grams. <laughs> this one. I know what this is. Oh, you're just jealous of how cute my serfs are. Eat up, little guys. I'm not full yet. Seriously, how does Miranda keep from starving to death? Do we put an IV in her while she sleeps? Whatever. She's happy. <laughs> we are already so close to being done. My goodness. Let's do this. All right. Um, we have 13 charm. We'll get more charm. What's up? Shit. Good old Mira. What's gonna What's it gonna be today? Uh, nothing. No. I imagine her doing the fish breathing to eat crap. You know, probably. Let's do this. Bum bum bum. All right. You notice Liam and Miranda talking to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying gym for a change. Something must be terribly wrong. 
You go over to see what it is. Youth is a gift! Well now, I'm all for aspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing you to make up your own sport seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Oh, but ordinary sports are ever so dull and unrefined. I'm sure we could do some- we two could do much better. I've already got an idea, actually. I've had an idea for a sport since before there were even worse sports. We call it art. No teams, no rules, just pure creative expression. I'll be the quarterback, of course. Art? Brilliant! We will play it with watercolors and sequins, and there shall be a sport bard and a goalie laureate, laureate and... It's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say, art doesn't really sound like a sport. Why, it doesn't have the word ball anywhere in it. That's easily solved! We call it art ball! Oh! Well yes, obviously, that's much better. But let me ask you this. How do you score points in art ball, huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other, totally stumped. Their dreams hangs in the balance. Time to step in. Obviously, obviously the sports bar, the sports bar that signs inspiration kicks to the metaf metaphysical linebacker who scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book? Don't you see the points were inside us all along? Maybe the art ball points were the friends we made along the along the way. I, oh, it's two, okay. My God, you're right. I just ate garlic paste thinking it was ginger. Oh, no. Azani, no. My god, you're right. I've become so obsessed with the points out there that I've forgotten about the points in here. I found the ginger paste, though. Thank god. Garlic is good for your heart, at least. Yeah. You kids have taught me a valuable lesson today. From now on, points are hereby banned from all our sporting events. At least until I forget I said that. Does that mean we can play art ball, make art ball of our city sport? Of course, the only real sport, after all, is togetherness. Liam and Miranda throw themselves into recruiting a team. Coach bans points. The way your team was doing this year, hardly anyone noticed the difference. You gained plus two charm and plus one boldness. Oh my god. Alright. I mean, I Let's feel like... This. Is it gonna randomly trigger now? Or, or are we... My fish drowned while I was walking it. Oh no! He waltz over to Miranda and Scott's table to find them peering suspiciously into a burger. <gasps> Secret sauce. I didn't realize ginger was kind of spicy on the tongue. Ooh, yeah, a little spicy. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. What dread mysteries do you conceal? Awesome, bro. Whoa. Do you think the secret sauce can talk? Cool. Hey, secret sauce. What are you made out of? No, Scott. That question was rhetorical. Awesome. Mine was loud. <laughs> yeah, it should just show up like the other ones. Okay. Oh, it's no use. We will never discern the, activ the active ingredient of this delicious secret sauce. Unless you have an idea, Amira. The blood of your father's enemies, Miranda. That's why it's so delicious. Um, you're overthinking this, Scott. It's a sauce made of secrets. I think it's this one. Yeah. Blood? Of the air people? I didn't know the high school cafeteria cared about my family's ancient rivalry. And everyone knows the air people bleed candy syrup and barbecue sauce. I should have known. No, we don't. <laughs> you know, I don't normally eat food myself. I have serfs for that. But I may have to make an exception. Aw, more blood. We eat blood all the time. Pretty much every full moon. Scott's a little disappointed, but you don't care. You're busy sharing a saucy burger with Miranda. We've gotten all the Miranda and Scott lunchtime questions yet. Seriously? Oh my god. Let's do this! Holy shit. Okay. You're minding your own business when Miranda comes rushing up to you, clearly distraught. Most terrible news, friend. I have just watched the documentary Game of Thrones, and now I fear for my own royal family. I wonder, is it? I wonder, is it weird to mop your ceiling full dishes and walk fishes? That was a sentence. I don't know. I did not realize how susceptible we might be to random acts of treachery, or how often we romance our siblings. <laughs> I mop my ceiling. Yeah. That's not weird. I don't want to be shot in the chest by a crossbow while sitting on the toilet. That doesn't sound proper at all. I also vacuum it. That also helps. Please help me put my poor mind at ease. How can I possibly identify potential traitors in my court? Just keep an eye out for the classic signs. Shifty eyes, hooded black cloaks, ordering knives in bulk. I have ceiling tiles, so I no, I do not wash my ceiling. Pretty much everyone is a traitor. Just spin a bottle and over a point set kills them. Oh my god. Um, oh, it's one. Thank you, Raven. 
what that would mean. <gasps> Did Lord Darkheart stabbing Tin be a traitor? I must warn Father at once. We have to find a new royal babysitter. A rose by another name would smell as sweet. Unless that name is Darkheart Stabbington. You gain plus two smarts and plus one money as a reward. Okay. I hope it comes up still. Let's do this! Um uh, we'll get more money. Afterwards, a royal procession five hundred a royal procession five hundred members strong informs you that Miranda has requested your presence at dinner tonight. <gasps> The restaurant she's chosen is so fancy, its name is unpronounceable by anyone making less than six figures. Oh my god. With all these heavily armed guards around you, you think it's unwise to refuse. And so, later that night. This restaurant is remarkably charming for a low-born establishment. Granted, the flatware is only platinum, not diamond. Dinner date time, dinner date time. And this wine seems to be significantly less than a thousand years old. OMG, if you're poor, she'll roast you. Oh no, I'm not poor. Look, I have 21 monies. But at least our table is held up by three weeping serfs, as it is, as it's always ought to be. Garkon, one bowl of rubies and a bottle of actual gold, if you'd be so kind, and my suitor will have... Quick, pick something before she realizes that you've never been anywhere fancier than Wilmer's Chicken Hut. I'm not, I have 25 cents. Literally, probably, oh my god. Um, it doesn't matter what I order, anything will taste good as long as I eat it with you. One of everything, and I'm buying. No, um, hmm. I don't know. Raven. Two. Okay. My, what an expansive gesture. You must be quite wealthy. Why, the duck galore alone costs more than the gross domestic domestic product of Iceland. And the chopped salad is literally just shredded money. Is it possible that your family is wealthier than mine? No, it can't be. Father would be inconsolable. Garkon, make that two of everything, as I'm paying. Oh, but you look just so, so disappointed. Well, if you insist, you may cover the tip. Just the tip is enough to set you back quite a bit. But you're lucky it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worse. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Okay, let's go. Woo! Okay. Oh god, I really hope that it... It procs. We have one left. Mm, Alright. I'm trying to comprehend your request. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Ra Ra Miranda. Take my cell phone, snap a pic of me face planting in my food with my eyes closed, and tongue out. But, wherefore? Right here, Miranda. You're about to point out that wherefore means why, but luckily Polly elaborates on her own, so you don't have to look like a fucking know-it-all. It's a new meme, Miranda. Like planking or dabbing. It's called food poisoning, and it's dope as fuck. Don't you have cool trends in your kingdom? Hmm, I suppose we do. Oh, we have a fun trend called Revere Your Rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. If you're good at it, you get a lot of likes on social media, and also not executed. Hey, you said wherefore, it's what for. Oh, what for. Do you, ever, do you even listen to yourself when you speak? I bet you know some pretty cool trends, don't you, Amira? Heck yeah, you do. Don't you? Uh, this, yes. Really? Have I not heard of this trend? How have I not heard of this trend before? Beautiful silverware and fancy dresses are two of my biggest passions. This trend sounds like it was invented for me. Um... It may have been. By you. On the spot. But there's no need to go into that. What's your favorite meme? Spiked salad forks and velvet evening gowns? Seahorse steak knives and frilly skirts? Teaspoons and tea dresses? This trend is... No words. Yes, the glory of this spectacular combination would leave me speechless as well. Were I not so excited to create more memes with Amira? Huh. We'll have to meet up soon. Bring all your most exquisite chopsticks. I'll bring d I shall bring doll clothes in which to dress them. Yeah, totally. Hanging out with Miranda sounds amazing. Um, guess it's time to go out and try to find some exquisite chopsticks. Okay, this is the last time. Let's do this. Um, please. You open your locker, and a cloud of gas knocks you up. You come to your senses, plummeting towards Earth, rapidly approaching terminal velocity. Fall into the school's backyard, into the hands of Miranda's biggest goons. Your classmates don't notice. I have a shiny for your right. He wanted Pichu. It barely changes. I wonder why. Ah. Ah, got it. Hmm? It didn't work. None of them even noticed your glorious fall. People are so used to spectacle at this school. This slow, ex the slow ascension is tiresome. I need a glorious act, a grand gesture to secure my throne. Can you think of something while I flay my salmon? 
No more talk. We bring war. I will build a monument to you, your highness. It will, it will rival the sun and the atrocities your family committed. Oh, no. Oh, it's one. Okay. Remember West Side Story? Add guns and fire. Much guns, so fire. None of the students expected a war over prom. Because who would? You quickly overcome their pathetic resistance. Miranda stands victorious and raises her flag in front of the school. It is the cutest death... It's the cutest death death's head you've ever seen. This is the last question. Let's go! Few are left to be impressed by her victory, but those who are are definitely scared enough to vote for her. Father was right! Winning elections is so easy! You gain plus three charm, which is good, because you'll probably need that for the UN investigation. We have so much charm. Okay. Da, 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 She's so cute! No, little baby! Yes. Let's do this! Guys, did we do it? Of course I want to go to prom together. My ma Machiavellian fellow conspirator. I can't help but deeply value such a brilliant and scheming mind. It's smart to keep someone that can be so useful at palace in at pal palace intrigues close at hand. And we royalties are all about convenience and strategic marriage. So why shouldn't I be smart and strategic about prom dates too? <gasps> yes. Heck yes. Also, you like super cute. Oh, I am. <laughs> Shit. When prom night comes, you're re you're ready to have the night of your lives. You practice your or Vinny's waltz, and Miranda is deeply impressed. Even if the music is mostly ele electronic, you somehow Vinny's waltz the fuck out of it, and everyone ga gathers in a circle to admire your prowess. It's a magical evening. Also, you execute some more plots and assassinations together, just in case, which is a fantastic bonding experience. Bow to your queen. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, you and Miranda are selected as prom royalty. Crazy how that works. <laughs> um, say less. And you know it's a bit cheesy to say this. Miranda's beauty is heightened by the delicacy, er, the delicacy of her enemy's blood all over her body. It's truly been a magical evening. Well, we did it. All right. Perfect, we got, all right. Guess what that means next time, guys. We get the special one. Hyperventilating. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. And you have unlocked six new images in the gallery. Uh, let's go, let's go watch, let's go see. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, Polaroids. Oh! Fi fire and water, unexpectedly perfect. Oh! They're so cute! Do we get a special one for Vera? Am I dumb? No, we did not. Okay. And... Oh, go back up. Oh, Scott design early concept. Oh! You baby. Aw. Scott ending sketch. Ah, got you. Oh my god. Vera's so pretty. <laughs> Smash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right! And with that, we've gotten one of every ending. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you guys for always being here. It has been a blast. Um, sploosh. <laughs> Heck yes, yes. We will be doing, uh, we'll be doing the special ending next week. Uh, I'm very excited for that. But yes, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you guys for always being here. It means a lot. And tune in on Thursday for some more Minecraft with potentially Sam. Um, Haley, Fox, and a couple other friends. And then, yeah. Minecraft. Minecraft, yes. Thank you guys so much for joining. Super, I'll message you in the uh, message you in the Discord to trade some dudes, just so you know. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!